Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tools R Us, and today we're gonna to be doing a tour of my toolbox. I've had a couple of people that have wanted me to do this, so today we're gonna to go ahead and go over that. So, I've got a pretty good bit of stuff here. I don't have the whole box filled up. I just started doing this. It'll be two years ago on June 1st. That's when I started getting into the mechanicing and stuff. So, this is everything that I've amassed in two years. I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna go over the cosmetic stuff up top. I have a lit up camshaft with an LED light. That's from a big dozer, I forget which one. Um, I've got all my little models. There's a link belt, Takuchi, a Sani excavator, another Takuchi excavator, and a link belt excavator. All right, now let's check out my power tools. So I've got a Milwaukee half inch impact, the fuel brushless version. It's been really good to me. I've got all my power tools hung up on the pegboard wall. This is the Milwaukee 61 inch hutch with the two drawer riser. It's got pegboards in the back. So I cut and bent all these steel things in the back to hold my tools. That's the Milwaukee Brushless Fuel 3.8 Stubby. I love this thing. This is my everyday mainly. I've got a Milwaukee quarter inch hex brushless driver I use that from time to time this was my first tool ever I work at a really cool place and our parts manager when I started told me that if I really tried to learn this stuff he'd bring me a little snap on impact and this is what he gave me I still pull this thing out all the time and it just kind of reminds me of how far I've come which is pretty nice I have a snap on it's the non brushless long neck cordless ratchet but I just broke it it's in for repair. This is my Milwaukee brushless 18 volt drill. I use this pretty often. As you can see, it's pretty nasty. I need to clean it. My snap-on brushless screwdriver. I like this thing. I got it on a really good deal and free bits. <clears throat> I got this from one of my buddies that lost his air. He sold it to me for a hundred bucks. This is the best thing I've ever just bought from someone else. I love this air hammer. I have my blue point needle scaler for track work and any undercarriage work where I need to clean off that cruddy dirt and stuff. I am a dirt equipment technician. I work on excavators and skid steers mostly. This is my snap-on 14.4 articulating light. This thing is amazing. Two batteries, you can rotate them in and out and this thing will last you in eternity. I have a Streamlight Stinger held up on the wall. I do like this thing. It's nice to just have a light that I can just grab and go with two batteries to rotate in and out and let's charge practically. I have two Streamlight wedges up here in this corner so I can rotate them in and out. I love these things. They're absolutely amazing. This is my 18 volt floor light. My dad gave me this. I don't really use it that often. We've got my tape measure up here. I love these tape measures. My little makers and fixers pen that Snap-on sent me. That's pretty neat. Got my magnet. Is pretty nice all my chargers in the little snap-on box i have some ignition wrenches a sani pen a couple other pens and the chalk stuff a honeywell fan little hook for a key holder my little laptop there so my last power tool as well is i have my cordless grease gun and i have my metabo grinder up there that thing is pretty awesome so this is my sticker wall i got this one from makers and fixers that thing is awesome you guys should go check them out on instagram they do a lot of really cool tool giveaways and stuff they give away a bunch of like cool snap-on swag and they do a huge giveaway every month with like a bunch of cool stuff so go check them out my tool dealer gave me that these are all just stickers i've picked up out the year tool dealer gave me that one all these i got this off of the snap-on techno truck which is their like scanner truck or whatever. 
that's pretty cool the guy just gave it to me um which was really neat of him so that's the stuff she goes so in the right drawer of my husky hutch sorry i said it was in milwaukee i have the full snap-on foam sets of their angled wrenches four-way these things are absolutely amazing flank drive plus do not regret this purchase at all. And the standards, they go from 3 eighths to inch and a quarters. On the metrics, they go from 10 to 27. And then I've got my snap-on 3 eighths torque wrench. I always store it with the batteries out. High vis this thing is amazing. 5 to 125 foot-pounds. The drawers in the hutch are very smooth. In the left drawer of the hutch, I have all of my big wrenches from Harbor Freight. Now, one thing that they do mess you up on is on the standard side, they don't give you an inch and seven sixteenths, which I needed a lot working on Takuchi's on their drive lines. They always use it, but very nice. And these are very inexpensive too, and you're not gonna break them. If you do, I mean, you're doing something incredible. All right, you guys, in my top drawer, I have a lot of my wrenches. These are the Icon stubbies. These are the Icon anti-slip grips. I've got them in metrics and standards. The Icon long box and wrenches. I have that set. These are just some Pittsburgh SA flare wrenches. Got them in a bind. They're bigger wrench sets, the four and five piece metric and standard sets, and a little chain wrench. My paper towel holder here. In this top drawer, I have my crow's feet, and that's one of those universal sockets with the pins in it where you can just push it down on stuff. This is just like my knives and small utility drawer. The best pliers you could ever buy. These things are amazing. And combined with one of these, you can fix half the world's problems. Those things are awesome. This is my daily knife. I love the serrations on this one. It's very nice. Had that for about a year and a half. This is just like an empty junk drawer kind of. Got a bunch of hammers in here. I love the East Wing hammers. They're dead blows and they're sledges. They are awesome. This is just my battery drawer. I've got a lot of my batteries up here charging and stuff. So there's that. Guys, in this bottom drawer, I have all my electrical stuff. This and this is all of my multimeter stuff that I need. This is my snap-on multimeter. I love that thing. Massive screen, it's huge. Then this is their 12 volt circuit tester kit that has all your probes and stuff. It fits the meter so that's really nice to have with it too so those two things have pretty much kept me going i've got a snap-on remote starter switch that's pretty nice got that on a pretty good deal this is my relay tester don't remember which brand it is use it from time to time nes or es relay buddy that's what it is. It's a relay, buddy. That thing's pretty awesome, though. Got my inspection camera. This thing's pretty neat. Got it on an amazing deal, so I just picked that up. Kind of had to. This is my JLG computer cable. And the Power Probe Master Kit. This thing is pretty awesome. I use this from time to time, still not an expert with it, kind of trying to figure it out. So if we go into my second long drawer, I don't have many, but this is just the screwdrivers I do have. I just got this set with all the Phillips and stuff. They're cabinet screwdriver set. These are a couple of just old random screwdrivers. I have a little max torque bit screwdriver, little baby screwdrivers there terminal disconnect set this thing is awesome to have and they're really even though they go down very small like even this one they're very stiff tips so you can put some pressure on them and they don't just bend right away which is very nice long and short picks very nice i like how stiff they are but that's pretty nice my favorite drawers it's my ratchet drawer and extensions so I've got a bunch of Harbor Freight ratchets over here, the quarter inch swivel, three eight stubby, long and short flex and three eights, and three eight swivel. I got the gold one just for some giggles. I had like a 25% off. This, 
uh, Chinese ratchet I had that came in a tool set with one of the machines that we got in broke. And I took the anvil out to just use it as like a little hand ratchet. This is my snap-on 3-8 swivel head. My locking flex head 3-8s. My regular flex head 3-8s. My multi-position 3-8s. I've got a little S and K round head, one of the old number 71 M snap on ratchets still works just a little rough sloppy. I just picked up this little quarter inch flex head, hard handle snap on. I love that the gearing in it is insane. This is just two quarter inch breaker bars and a new and an old snap-on speeder handles, 3 8 and both of them work great. This is my long, new style flex head snap-on 3 8 Not really a big fan of the switch though, I will say. This is my easy red half-inch ratchet. I do not really like the locking on it, but for the price, you can't complain. And then I got this big boy matco three foot half inch breaker bar for 75 bucks off of a trade and on the snap on track just a random breaker bar i got from my granddad's easy red extendable ratchets let me see if i can get it pretty nice to have these are all my extensions too the quarter inch foam set three eighths foam set three eighths wobble chrome Icon quarter inch chromes, the Icon 3 8 impacts, and the Icon half inch impact. Let's get into the drawer everyone's dying to see. This is my socket drawer. So these are the quarter inch deep and shallow snap on sockets, the 3 8 foam tray. These are some Napa swivels, and my buddy, when I started, gave me a set of six snap on swivels. Those are right there. These are the sockets that Capri Tools just sent me. I absolutely love them so far. Using the heck out of them, as you guys can see, you can barely see the 14 on that one anymore. These are my Icon 3-8 sockets behind that. My Sunex half inches. This is a big snap-on 15 16 That used to be my old sprocket socket for Takuchi's. This is the big blue point hex bit set and torx set this thing is absolutely amazing to have my icon half inch split beam torque wrench my quarter inch snap on low profile set my three eighths low profile set i picked these up off a of marketplace for 200 bucks it's snap on 12 point standards, three eighths from quarter inch to an inch, deep sand shallows. This is my new sprocket socket. It's like a super deep. This is a regular deep. This is the super deep. It's almost like two of them. And it adds a ton of weight. So there's never a sprocket bolt that doesn't come off anymore with the half inch. My Icon standard impacts and my Sunex standard impacts. So this is my plier drawer. So I've got a good bit. I've got a lot of blue point pliers. I have their whole uh, mini plier set, the 10 piece one, the blue point long nose set and their regular 10 piece set. That's all my like needle noses, the snap on aggressive nickel pickers that everyone likes and the small pair, the baby pair of them. Um, got these snap on like bolt turning pliers they're very awesome these long cutters from snap on they're absolutely amazing these are the crown jewel of snap on pliers in my opinion they're high leverage pliers these things are insane you can just oh my god they bite the crap out of anything these are all my vice grips these are snap on vice grips i honestly wish i would have got some irwin's Blue point four piece adjustable set. They're pretty nice. My snap on little hose crimper. That thing's pretty nice. They're cheap too. They're, they don't cost that much. My three piece 
Nipex set, absolutely amazing pliers. I don't know if any plumbers are out here watching this. If you're a plumber, dude, you should pick these up. These things are nuts. My little wire crimpers, they work very well. This is a Duratec with comfort grip, four piece adjustable wrench set. The channel lock, reversible, hose clamp pliers with the replaceable bits. I need to get a full set though, cause they don't work everywhere. This is just a pipe wrench that my dad got me, job smart. And the snap on big weird style pipe wrench. In the drawer under that, this is my blue point pass through set. Pretty nice. This is a Milwaukee half inch deep well impact set. I went to Texas for one of my buddy's weddings and I picked this up while I was there and he mailed it back to me. What a G. My brother gave me this little set. This is just a little metric gear wrench carry around set. Pretty nice. Like my safety drawer, my knee pads, extra beanies, gloves, air masks, glasses, all that kind of jazz drawer doesn't really have much in it it's my regular snap-on metric combination wrenches this is like a plastic trim tool set i'm not going to open that up and these are snap-on flank drive wrenches from 20 to 25 this is my extraction drawer i have these big kimball midwest extractors they go up to this massive inch and a sixteenth inch and a half bolt size this is my Harbor Freight Cobalt Drill Index, my Snap-on Cobalt Drill Index, the Snap-on Rethread Set. I'll show you guys that Rethread Set in a second. Icon Multi-Spline Extractors, I already broke one and I totally lost it, so I just need to go buy a new set. Matco Center Punch. Those are some Napa Spiral Extractor Sockets, a little file. This is just a small tap and die set that I picked up. We have like an Amazon return store and I went there on $10 day and bought this full tap and die set. And it has been absolutely amazing to me. Nothing is broke. I've had it almost since I started doing this and I got this thing for 10 bucks. But bad thing is, is when I do break something, I will never know where to go warranty it. And this is the rethread set. Get thread vials, comfort grips, bunch of sizes too very nice in this bottom drawer i've just got some oil filter wrenches to take off all the oil wrenches i need to this is like the few big case stuff that i have that's my radiator system tester this is my ratcheting screwdriver set this thing is very nice i love this Awesome, comes with different handles, a quarter inch driver handle, bunch of bits. And I picked this up off of Marketplace for, believe it or not, 50 bucks. It is a snap-on, if I can open it ever, brake disc caliper. Couldn't believe I got it and it actually worked. So I was very excited about that. This is like my bigger crescent wrenches saws scrapers little cheater handles type deal and punches and stuff this is my snap-on punch set highly recommend getting the snap-on punches they are a bunch but you don't have to go warranty them i've had to go warranty one so, this is my bits these are the milwaukee sets wish i'd have bought the 100 piece sets snap-on bit set little milwaukee right angle drill adapter Stubby socket driver and two little micro bit sets from Walmart. This is a long Milwaukee bit driver extension. That thing actually comes in a lot of handy. And this is my favorite bit set. This is a Vim Tools bit set. Ton of bits, extension, T handle, or ratchet extension. You get your ratchet and a bunch of low pro sockets. So that thing is super awesome. So in this drawer, I have all my air hammer bits. I haven't used a bunch of them yet. I just got this thing like a month ago, 
but it is super awesome and I know that when I need them, this thing is gonna be, I'm gonna be so glad that I have it. And this drawer is just mirrors, little window tool and a tire pressure tester. And there's my little speaker, bunch of chemicals, my hand wipes, the internet if I accidentally forget to put it on, my air ratchet grease and stuff, RTV, extra butane fuel, my little snap-on box. So I've got the snap-on welding mask in there. That thing is insanely awesome. Bunch of spare stuff that I use, fuel water separators. I use a bunch of those. My little fuel pump that I built up. Spare cab safety stuff, more butane fuel. This is a thing I got from the 10 spot, just hold pens and stuff, my inhaler and all that. My little NOCO GB170 or GB70. Yeah, GB70, I think. Uh, this thing's pretty nice. It can start a car or like a TL8 one or two times. It only start a machine like one or two times. And it has to be a small one. My pink lemonade, because I'm a lemonade addict. It was definitely really empty. I just collect a lot of bolts with the flares on them because we seem to get them or like spare. Just any good spare bolts that I think I'll reuse and not. This is my electrical drawer. Got my power probe soldering iron kit. Love that thing. I have my snap-on solder clamp with the magnetic stuff. My shrink wrap sets. This is my little like box of terminals and stuff. I just got one of those like sectionalized plastic trays and made it. Heat shrink lighters if I don't feel like using my thing. Solder flux, thread tape, electrical tape, and extra solder. This is my hydraulic drawer and oil drawer. Just a bunch of caps, oil caps, a uh, bunch of copper washers, spare hose clamps, fuel bolts, and spare sensors that I found. This is more electrical and notebooks. So these are my relay bags and extra switches and stuff for Takuchi's. Just some cables that I've made up, spare battery clamps, and spare fuses that I run across, and a little relay jumper right there. The bottom, these are my test ECUs and controllers that I have from engine swaps or whatever, or controller swaps for air codes. So that is pretty Hoarder, you guys should do this too. Cut your plugs off your spare harnesses so that if someone comes in with a harness problem and it's just a plug, you can just switch the wires and the plug over to a new one if it's crushed or whatever instead of them having to order it and wait on one. Okay, I guess it's just a file cabinet. I've got the Forma funnel. This thing's amazing. I use it for gear oil changes. This is my notebook of all the stuff that I have and do. I like to keep a very good record of what I do, parts that I use, everything, so that I know those are parts and other stuff that I keep. Side, there's a bunch of my bags and my bunch of my equipment manuals and some training material down there. And this is my like file cabinet with my reports, incident reports, not really incident reports, I guess damage reports on machine and all my class material that I've gotten from going to training and stuff. So that's really under here. I have my jack stands. These are the tool sets that used to come with Sany machines. They used to send a whole case of tools. They're little cheap tools, but some tools are better than no tools. This is a compression tester, I think. A uh, injection tester. And an Azuzu one. And this was my first tool set that I ever bought. It's the Craftsman little box with the three drawers. Here, give me a second. I'll cut it out, you guys. I ran around with this for the first couple months of my career. Comes with a bunch of quarter inch stuff, three eight stuff. I don't really like their ratchets, they broke a lot. I literally went and got this one warrantied, and the day I got it warrantied, it broke again, and I just said, I'm just not going back. That's when I started buying other tools. This is the little half inch drawer, and it came with wrenches and some allens up top guys now my complaints on this toolbox the drawers at least the long drawers like this the thin ones are too thin i mean this is just the icon stubby set in the plastic case and 
it hits the top of the door. It's so shallow, I can't even put my 19 millimeter blue point wrench in there, in the wrench holder, or it hits it bad coming in and out. So, and you can't put any snap-on foam in here. That's why my snap-on wrenches are in this drawer. Because even snap-on foam is too thick for these thin drawers. Their cases, even the snap-on hard cases, listen. It hits it every time. And then especially on this chisel set, this chisel right here. I mean, they're super, super thin drawers. But that is my only complaint about this box. Other than that, I love the box. The 84 has a ton of space, a lot of amazing options. Holds a lot of weight. The drawers work good. I love it. The hutch, I have absolutely no complaints about it. It's massive. It's super tall. I'm six foot and I can just about walk under this. The top of my head just barely hits it. The drawers in it are very deep, deep enough that you could store whatever you want to upright. This is a snap-on foam set with an inch and a quarter wrench upright and a torque wrench case. Has plenty of room to open and shut. Um, I like the light in it. I like the hutch door. The hutch door works very nice, as you guys can see. Pull it up to about here, you can let go, and it opens up on its own. The light is not automatic. You have to turn it on and off with the button right there. But it has a lot of power. It's got a power strip right there. You just plug it into the back, and it has power strips on both sides of the box with a drag handle. I chose the steel top option. I like it because it doesn't warp. Pretty nice. But locks easy. Haven't had any issues other with it other than the thin drawers. But uh, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this toolbox tour.